One of my most top requested videos is a playroom tour. I have done two of these on my channel before, but it has been like over a year. And if you follow any of my content, you know that this playroom is constantly changing. So today I'm gonna be giving a 2022 updated tour of Grandma's Playroom. This is the outside of my building. I feel like I do not share it very often. And this is our new uh, van accessible space. It used to be over there by the steps and I fought with my landlord to get it moved here so they can actually use this ramp. Today I have a birthday, but normally this sign will say like open play in our hours, or if it's a weekend, it'll say happy birthday to the birthday person and how old they are. I've got this little bench out here and I definitely think she needs to be repainted. Oh my goodness, yes. I either need to repaint her or get a new bench. It's super cute though. And then I have these new Grandma's Playroom stickers and then all of this paint was done by a local artist. And now we can go on inside. When you first walk into my playroom, I have this little entryway. Typically this door is shut so the children cannot get in. And then you have my desk. My desk is messy 100% of the time. It pretty much always looks just like this. I, I don't know what to do about it. This is where all of the parents sign in. We do have this warning sign that there are some small pieces and then I have my business cards. I don't think this front area is too exciting, but we do have our little library and a little bench that the kids can sit at while their parents sign in. But then once you come through this door, oh, <laughs> as I almost fall, you're in the playroom. You have the cafe area over here. This is where all of the parents generally hang out. All of these tables are new. The couch is new, this entire little seating area. I added this a big table. We have a free water dispenser with some cups. I used to sell bottles of water, not anymore. Now I just give it away for free. Um, My trash can with the lid so the kids can't throw away any toys because they've done that. And then I've got some high chairs. And then again, you're back at my desk. I get, oh, it's so messy all the time, literally daily. And I have some hooks here so parents can hang up their stuff because we do run out of tables very quickly. I have this sign right here that says, no toys in the cafe, please. And then you can't bring food out in this area. So that's how we keep that separate. We're back at the front. And if you turn this way, I do show this area a lot. We have our kitchen, our bakery, our market, two shopping carts in this corner. We've got the nursery and one of our yuck buckets. Yuck buckets are where you put toys that have gone in the children's mouth so I can clean and sanitize them. This rug looks so cute to like center this little table on. And I love this area so much. And it is constantly changing. It's also where our our tower is. Our tower is like the pride and joy. She is big. She is beautiful. No toys allowed on the tower though. I said in yesterday's video why that was a rule, but I love this tower so much. Next to the tower, we have this a big window that I can open, which is really nice. Lava tiles, oh, one of them just broke, I hate it. And then this is kind of like a rotating table. Right now, we've got some of our Avastars, these little gems, and some squigs and some fidget toys. I love this table so much. As you can tell, I need to clean it. But yeah, it's like one of the most popular areas. Then we have our big climbing equipment. We have our caterpillar and these mats are so funny. We have the step two tree house. This has been here longer than me. And then this little like saucer guy. We have another yuck bucket because we want them to be very accessible to everybody. This sounds so funny. And then there's the cafe and the baby area. I probably should have cleaned the baby area before I filmed this video, but you know, here we are guys. This is the playroom honestly. It's always clean before guests arrive, but sometimes it's not clean when I'm in here by myself. I do sanitize all the toys before I close, and then in the morning, I'll kind of put them back where they go. This is a busy weekend since it's Charlie's birthday, so this is just what it looks like. We have a, another yuck bucket here for the baby area, and this area is 24 months and younger only, without exception, and then absolutely no shoes. Again, without exception. We have this sign here, but nobody really sees it or reads it. But, um, so it's probably just there for me. And then we have a shoe rack that the children will sometimes like to climb. 
Then you are in the back part of the playroom. We have this huge terrain table that the kids are obsessed with. It's gigantic and there's so much space for children all the way around it. We have this table over here that I use for the toy of the month often. Right now it's got cars and some dinosaurs on it. And then our Magna Black table. Ooh, hold on. It lights up. I always forget to plug that in and then like halfway through the morning, I'll like rush over here. This table was built by the previous owner and I've kept it because I love it so much. Uh, back here, this is a chalkboard door that the children can write on during special events. Another yuck bucket and then our barn area. That is Velcro so they can put the food on there. And then my little garden center. And I love this grass here because it's a fun texture for the kids. And then I have my tree that I rotate. Right now it's some leaves and some gingerbread men but we're gonna be adding more christmas stuff that's the front door that's pretty much the main playroom floor i hope you guys got a really good idea now we just have like this this wall here the party room and then i will give you a brief very brief look at the basement next to the baby area is this employees only closet it's got a lock up here and it is Oh, a mess, a mess, just like my mind. But it's where we keep a lot of supplies for cleaning. And uh, I need to clean this door right here. In person, you can't really see it, but on camera, oh my gosh, Sierra, get your life together. I'm cleaning that today. This is our main bathroom and I've decorated it recently. If I turn on the light, the loud fan turns on. I've got some supplies, some feminine hygiene supplies, some wipes, a trash can, and then behind is our changing table uh very important very necessary and it's like the cutest bathroom that we have because the other one let me show it to you well this little loopy guy goes right there this was made by the previous owner's father so great grandpa built this and it's a stringer and the kids really love it and then i added this magnet board and then we use this for felt and then here is the second bathroom she's not very cute She's not very cute. It's tiny. I don't like the floors. There's like a weird little window. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It works. It's functional. There's no changing table in here. Ooh, close that door. Eventually this room will be cuter. Then back here we have the party room, which we'll be using today for a birthday party. So I have it pretty much set up. I'm not 100% ready to go because these are the fidgets I opened um, on another day of Vlogmas, but Okay, they're not here yet. We have like 45 minutes, so I've got plenty of time to finish up everything we need to do and give you guys the rest of the tour. This is the birthday party room. We've got these two six foot tall tables and then these tables are 36 by 36 and these are for the kids. I did just order a thousand dollars worth of tables to go in this room so if they get delivered during vlogmas i will 100 percent show you guys and it's not a bad space and when you come down here that is an exit so if you come out here i never show anybody this um yeah you're outside right nice okay and then you turn this way I love this wall. I love that back wall. Table up here is where everybody puts their food. I've got hidden toys under here. And then a brand new large fridge that is perfect for birthday parties. I'm just like that if everyone is here to celebrate one day. Okay, I told you guys I'd give you a brief look. If you go in this door, oh my gosh, guys, again, it's a mess. Every, behind every door at Grandma's Playroom, there's a mess. This is for Christmas. I need to put it out. And then these are some toys I just took off the floor and I can't get this down into the basement. So it's just like sitting right here. And then that is your brief view of my basement. And that's it guys. That is the full tour of grandma's playroom, including all of the closets and all of the scary spaces and all of the things that I desperately need to organize. Let me know, is it bigger than you thought? Is it smaller than you thought? And what do you guys want to see next? If you liked this video, I'd like it if you gave it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, I would love it if you would subscribe. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And don't forget, wash your hands. Bye, guys. Last year, I thought